Graph editor is that one tool beginners avoid and even intermediate editors kind of struggle with it. But if you want smooth animation and movement and all, then this is non-negotiable. I'm gonna break it down in extreme details once and for all. When you animate something with after effects like moving a text, rotating a shape or scaling an image, it uses keyframes. By default, after effects animates those keyframes in a linear speed. That means same speed from start to end, which I'm not gonna lie, looks like a PowerPoint presentation. This is where the graph editor comes in. It lets you control how fast or slow something moves between those keyframes. This is how you get those satisfying snappy but really smooth animations you see in pro edits. Whenever you use keyframes in After Effects, for example right now when I make this keyframe, I can access graph editor by selecting both of these keyframes and then clicking on this icon and this is our graph editor. Now when I right click here, you will see these two options and these are the two types of graphs that we use. Value graph and speed graph. Speed graph is usually used for speed ramps, camera movement, etc. Check this video about 3D camera movement after this one. Value graph is mostly used for transitions but it has its uses. We are gonna focus on speed graph first because it's more beginner friendly and then we will move to value graph. Let's animate a basic position movement. A circle moving from left to right. It will be easier for you to understand if you follow along with me, so feel free to open After Effects and follow what I do. First of all, I'm gonna make a circle for that, so left click and hold here, and then click on this ellipse tool, and then hold shift and make a circle like this. Now to control it precisely, I need this anchor point in the middle, and for that I have this little script that I got from AE Juice Pack, which is also the sponsor of today's video, I will talk about this later. With this script, when I click on this icon, my anchor point moves into the middle of my layer. And now I'm gonna make some position movement here, so add a keyframe here, then move ahead and then increase this, so this moves to the right. And now when I play it, select both of these keyframes and click here to open graph editor, and then select speed graph because we are trying to make speed graph now. And you can see there's this straight line. This straight line means constant movement, which means this is moving in the same speed from start to end, which means this shit sucks. To fix that, I'm gonna select both of these keyframes and press F9 on my keyboard, or I can right click on any keyframe, go to keyframe assistant and click on easy ease and it will do the same thing. And now you will see that this graph is not straight anymore, it's curvy. And when I select any one of these keyframes, these handles appear. And when I drag these handles, I can customize my graph. And you can customize your graph like this and it will change. You see, your clip is not linear anymore. It starts slow and then gets fast and then gets slow again. Look at it. Okay, but how does this work? The only thing you need to understand is if this graph is going horizontally, which means your clip is moving slowly. If it's going vertically, which means your clip is moving fast. By clip, I mean your movement. Here, it's going horizontal, which means it's gonna be slow here. Here, it's going vertical, which means it's gonna be fast here. Here, it's going horizontal again, which means it's gonna be slow here again. So when I play this, this part will be slow. And you see this curve? This curve basically means this line is going from horizontal to vertical, which means it's transitioning from slow to fast. And this is the peak of its speed. So this is where it will be fastest and then it will slowly, slowly get slow. Let's understand it again. It starts slowly, it picks up the pace, it gets fast, it gets on peak here, and then it starts to slow slowly. And then by, the, by here, it slows completely. When I play this, you can see that's exactly what's happening here. Okay, so that's basically the simple idea of your graph. Now, let's say I wanna make a graph where it starts slowly and then stays slow and then by the end, it gets fast. For that, I need a graph which is very horizontal at the start and at the middle and by the end, it gets very vertical. To make that, I'm gonna drag this one here and then I'll drag this one here. And you can see that this graph is horizontal here and then it stays horizontal and then here it picks up the pace it gets very fast and then it quickly slows down so if i had to say what's gonna happen here it starts slow and then slowly picks up the pace gets very fast and then quickly slows down or stops when i play this that's exactly what will happen you see it starts slow and then by the end it gets fast 
it's not very fast obviously but it gets fast same way on the opposite side if i make it like this it's gonna start fast and it's gonna end slowly or if i make it something like this it's gonna start very fast and then end slowly so that's basically all of your speed graph that's all you need to know before moving on to value graph let's talk about today's sponsor a juice a juice has a collection of things you will need as an editor text animation presets overlay bundles literally everything you can think of if you are someone trying to be a good editor or even a professional editor then you should definitely check them out their presets and bundles will not only make you improve your workflow but they will also help you enhance the quality of your stuff and make it quicker they also have a lot of courses and you can also reverse engineer their presets and learn from it matter of fact that's how i've learned most of my stuff and they also have a lot of free packs check them out from the link in the description and also use my code mediden for 10 percent off and thanks to ajus for sponsoring today's video okay so we are back to our basic keyframes now and when i open this graph this is the value graph you can see there are these two lines. I have these two lines for the graph because this position has two different values x and y. But let's say you're making something like scale and it has only one value. So when you open the curve, you will see this single line. So you know, it's the same thing. You don't need to worry about this. Now let me go back to my position. I go in and there are two lines. I cannot customize my curve when they are together like this. I need to separate them. For that, click here. And then click on this option it will separate the dimensions now by default when you separate them it will also easy ease them but for now let me just make them to normal so i can explain better and now when i go to my x position you can see that this is straight line okay when i play this it is doing the same thing it's going in the straight line now i'm gonna select both of these keyframes and press f9 you can also delete y position because i have not used y position but you know that's completely on you and this graph also works literally the same way it has these two handles and you can customize them easily now let's say i make my graph something like this it's the same thing here because see the horizontal your line is the slower it will be the vertical your line is the faster it will be okay so this part is very horizontal very horizontal which means it will have barely any movement here but this part is very curvy these curves mean the change in speed the more curvy it is the more movement it will have so now when i play this this part will have the movement this part will be extremely slow and this part will be fast again you see it's the same thing horizontal means slow vertical means fast and curvy means it's moving okay it's changing speed so curvy means it moves from here to here horizontal means it barely moves and then this curvy means it's moving from here to there now if i change my graph like this i want you to guess what's gonna happen you see this is very horizontal which means it's gonna be slow this is very horizontal which means it's gonna be slow very slow this this is very vertical which means it's gonna be extremely fast and then these are curvy these are curvy which means they will be moving okay so when i play this you see this starts here it's extremely slow then by by this time they start moving okay these start moving pretty well and this part is very fast you see because it's very horizontal then it slows down it slows down here and then it stops okay that's basically how both of these curves work when i make it like this and when i play this it starts slow gets fast and then starts slow again what does that remind you of if you would look back to this video you will see that when we made speed graph it did the exact same thing and that's exactly why these both graphs are same value graph is more versatile it can help you make a lot of stuff it can help you do a lot of stuff but speed graph is kind of limited and that's why speed graph is very beginner friendly and value graph requires a bit of experience
now that you know how speed graph works how value graph works let's talk about some good speed and value graphs first of all we start with speed graph and in speed graph you cannot mess it up just try to have decent enough space in between of these two handles and you know just make it like this and when i play this it works pretty well it's not too fast it's not too slow it's not too stiff it's pretty good just try not to make your stuff like this because if you make it like this it's gonna be really bad look it's not good because you see it starts very slow and then gets fast very quickly and then gets slow again very fast so you know that's not that's not a good sign it's not that does not look good and don't make it like these either or else there won't be a lot of difference between no graph and this graph you know because you know it's it's pretty much the same so make your graph something like this just try to have a decent amount of gap in between them okay you can also make them like this make them like this and it will start fast and then end slowly or you can do the vice versa as i told you earlier just just don't just don't make it like this please for the love of god don't make it like this now let's talk about value graph the only tip that you need for value graph is that don't make it too tight let's say i want to make a graph like this i want to make a graph like this where it starts quick and then slows down by the end okay now the thing is that this graph is too tight too compact what i want to do is create some breathing space between these two handles i make it like this and now when i play this it's much more easier to look at it's much more easier to follow if i make it more like this if i make more space it's even more easier to follow you see the more gap these have in between the better your graph will be also like don't make it like this because obviously that will look bad but you know just don't don't make it like this don't make your graph like this even if you make a graph like this where you want to start fast and then slow down and then end fast don't let these handle hug the wall because that will be very snappy you don't want that most of the time you don't want that so make your graph something like this curve the handles and when you play this now you know it's very easy to follow and when i make my graph like this even you know it also looks good enough it looks better another graph that i like to make is this one it will start slowly and then end quick You see like it starts slowly and then it ends quick well that's all for this tutorial i hope that you guys understood how graph works and even cleared most of your doubts if you have any suggestions then you can comment or if you wanna you know tell me what to do to make next just comment down below if you wanna practice your graphs or wanna know how to make camera movement then check this video out next